Let's head to the streets of Phoenix, Arizona in this one, guys. We got the Suns laying two and a half points. It is heading up to three right now with some injury concerns on the uh, Nuggets side. Nuggets are getting back plus two and a half slash three on the road. If you'd like to go the money line route, the Phoenix Suns are laying minus 140 on the money line here uh, if they can get this game six win at the house. Or if you'd like to go with the underdog Nuggets in this one to get the outright win and close out the series here on the road, you can get back plus 120 on the money line with the Denver Nuggets. Over and under sitting at 226 in this one, Ski. Uh, did just see Jamal Murray pop up on the injury report. I don't know if it's illness or if he's just scared of Landry Schmidt over there, Ski, but uh, what do you think about uh, – I don't care what nobody say. He does not want to see Shemet is locking Murray up over there, man. Only time he's scoring is when he's on somebody else, uh, Ski. But how do you think uh, – do you think that Murray plays tonight? What do you like in this game? I think it's just, you know, when he tweaked his ankle a little bit, I think that's why he's on the injury report now. Um, <clears throat> he, was, he was going back at Sham a little bit too. You know, they were getting into it. It was getting a little chippy. He don't uh, like – they don't like – he don't like Shaman on him. I'm telling you that right now, bro. <laughs> Oh, does he like him on him? Absolutely not. <laughs> but can he can he still put a couple buckets in? Yeah. Will he be out there tonight? We shall see. I mean, uh, all I'll say is if he's not out there, it'll make my bet even better. I'm thinking about this game. The profile of both of these teams doesn't add up, but you'll understand. Like when, when I, I've talked about Michael Malone and the Denver Nuggets, he always says that this is a team who's a top five running team, no matter who they play. You know, they're going to play up tempo. That's who they are. Now, in saying that, you know, before the last game, he did a lot of talking about defense. And you see them in that last game, they made a lot of adjustments. Um, they start pressuring Booker up the floor, not just letting him walk it up. They start, you know, trapping and being more aggressive trapping, I think, both him and KD and forcing the other guys to do things. So I like what I saw from them as far as defensive adjustments. And that last game only made it to 220 points. For the Suns, um, they also want to play with pace. But I hear Monty Williams talk, and um, for one, he said that Denver is combating their pace with playing physical. But he said that he just was really unhappy with their effort defensively in quarter one and quarter three. I think he said they gave up 39, they gave up 35, something like that. And he said they have to be a lot better on that end. So if both, you know, if he's focused on the defensive end in this game, and, you know, I heard Mike Malone also say they got to bring that same defense into game six. That's making me think it's going to be a lower scoring affair. I get that whenever it's a missed shot, both teams will run. Um, and I compared it, you know, it's not as not as crazy as far as pace wise as Golden State and Sacramento. But we know those teams like to run and we saw those, some of those games stay under still. So I think that's the kind of situation we get with Denver and Phoenix. So I chose under the 226 points. If I had to pick a side, you know, now knowing that Murray could potentially not play, I would only look at the Suns. Um, maybe I'll look at the Suns to throw the first punch, first quarter or, or something like that. But I have to know that Murray's out there to back the Nuggets for myself. So for the show, um, it should be up there. I'm on under 226. I like a lot. Yeah, that, that's starting to go down, trickle down to 225 and a half, 225 as well in this one. Yeah, I can only look Suns first quarter, first half. They could possibly run out of gas, but I think uh, – I, I... One thing I don't think a lot of people are talking about, that the Nuggets are not the same team on the road. Obviously, they use their home court advantage at the house um, in a good way. I mean, they're in altitude with the Suns playing their starters so many minutes. It's the perfect recipe for the Nuggets to to do well at the house. They run out of gas in the second half, mainly that fourth quarter every single time. At the house, I just don't necessarily see the same thing. Obviously, you got two elite players versus one, in my opinion. That's Devin Booker. Now, we got to be sure. Booker might not be 100%, right? Because he kind of landed on his foot kind of wrong there as well. So, that's a worried there as well. If Booker can't go for 30 plus points, um, it's going to be tough for them because KD kind of has his games, but we know role players play a lot better at the house as well. I still think the Suns have something that could push this one to game seven, uh, despite I mean, me kind of being on the island there, but I feel like Suns at the house, that's the only way I could look, and if Murray's out, I think that's even better for them first quarter, first half, while the Nuggets try to figure out their new rotations. Obviously won't have a true point guard out there as well. Uh, I love Bruce Brown, but he's not a true point guard. You see what I'm saying? So you might even see some Reggie Jackson minutes um, in this one, maybe off the bench. It's crazy that the Nuggets don't even use uh, some, most of their bench, to be honest with you, Josh. But how are you looking at this game, my brother? You think the Nuggets close it out tonight in this game six? 
Yeah, I, I bet the Nuggets at the plus three, and obviously that was before any news of Murray potentially not playing. So that kind of changes things naturally. If he's in, then yeah, I'm very comfortable with the plus three. Uh, and I wouldn't talk you out of a money line situation either. I think that we're finally getting to that point of the series now where Booker and KD look gas, genuinely. Uh, last game, uh, KD in particular look, took a long time to kind of get accustomed to altitude there. But uh, you know, we saw as well what happens when Devin Booker doesn't shoot as efficiently as what he did. This offense just doesn't have enough to keep up with Denver. I think ultimately that's just what it's going to come down to. The Nuggets are always going to find ways to score with Jokic on the inside. They're always going to get the looks that they want. I don't know if that's going to be the case for Phoenix. Like I said, as this series sort of progresses, uh, you, you've asked so much of Devin Booker and Kevin Durant, not just in this series, but the playoffs to date with the minutes that they've had to log. Uh, and now playing every other day, you know, flying, like I said, out of altitude now, I, I think this is where it starts to really show up and catch up with those two guys in particular. So I do think that the Suns role players are going to be a lot more effective at home. Like you said, Jay, they, they always are at home. Um, but I think that the Nuggets have kind of figured things out a little bit here. And they'll be uh, pretty confident, I think, to be able to close this one out, avoid a Game 7, where even though they'll be comfortable playing at home, I think, you know, no team wants to go to Game 7 where possible. So like, uh, let's let's see if the Nuggets can, in fact, replicate their defensive efforts. Uh, and if that's the case, you know, we saw that how quickly they can turn defense into offense as well with the pieces they have on the floor. So... I expect Murray to go. Obviously, I'm more hopeful than anything else. If he does go, then, yeah, I'm pretty comfortable with my Nuggets position in this one. Yeah, no, it's a factor. I'll tell you the X factor. That's Michael Porter Jr. If he's hitting his threes, I mean, it's just crazy because he's been night and day, and it's just it's just what we've been saying the whole time. Role players play better at the house. He, I do think he's a role player. He's played a lot better at the house. On the road, Sometimes like, hey, where he at? Is he out there? Is he? Is where? Who is that? Who is Michael Porter Jr.? So, um, if, if he comes to play, if he's knocking down threes, it's gonna be really tough for the Suns to overcome that. Um, I think you kind of have to let Jokic go for forty or fifty, um, and shut down the rest of the players, and that's your because he's gonna get what he's want. He wants to get regardless, man. But maybe try to draw some foul calls on Jokic. That's what I would try to do, man. So we know this is a foul baiting league these days. You gotta try to draw some foul calls on the main players on the other team, right? That that could be a pet to success here I always say the game is going to have to go how it's rift as well in this one man so i'm standing off this one personally i'd be looking at sun's first quarter first half especially if murray is not a, not 100 percent. that's the only way i could look my top look here will be sun's in the first half i do think they come out with a sense of urgency with their backs against the wall over the course of a full 48 minutes anything can happen and i usually like to think that the better team gets it done over the full 48 so i wouldn't be surprised if the nuggets got it done but um i do think this one's going seven games all all I, all day long, I think this one's going to a game seven in this one. Nuggets probably get it done at the house in this one. But, Josh, this may be the Suns win by one or two or something, and then you cash that plus three. You see what I'm saying? My guy, Josh, rocking with the Nuggets, plus the three official, like a referee blowing a whistle. And our guy, Ski, rocking with the under 226 in this one. Well, Nuggets plus two and a half for our guy, Josh. But, I mean, you can get three now, though. You see what I'm saying? And Ski's going rocking with the under 226 in that one, guys.